everybody, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Yes, screen is looks completely white because there's a sketch pad in front of me. Um, I was going to do some random like doodling. Um, and also there's a subject that I'd like to speak on. Um, that's been all over the news recently. Um, and I just want to offer a different perspective. Um, a more compassionate perspective. Um, you know, some understanding for, you know, any on the, in the other position. So that way we don't have such a tendency to, to judge people. So, okay, I'm going to start randomly doodling and, like, whatever flows out is just going to flow out, you know, both ways. That I mean, and to be drawing, so. Okay. I'm just going to do some random stuff and then, like, see, like, if any picture comes from it, you know, just random. Again, I'm not even going to really look, but at some point I'm going to, like, stop and then maybe try to figure out what you know, what I can draw from it. It's probably going to be hard to see because, like, pencil is not, like, a thick thing because, of course, you know, if errors happen. I don't know if I see anything just yet, but we'll see what happens. Um, so pretty much I want to offer um, a different perspective from... Now, me personally, I don't believe in abortion or having any of my I have a 11 month old um, I'll tell you a little bit about my story in, in a little bit um, but some things that happened and now that I know that pretty much it's not really regular people with what's happened now the extreme route that it has the abortions have taken it's not regular people's that have been doing this. It's been like people in the government that has done this. Their decision to make it go to the extreme level, because um, obviously, like a crap ton of people are definitely like, "What the heck? This is too much, even for us," you know. And they're like, "We never saw it. It should be anything past the first few months." But anyway. Um, I just wanted to offer a different perspective for those that actually do um, decide to get to abortions, which hopefully preferably are only in the first three months of gestation. Um, but a few reasons why anybody would, or you know, or that it would be maybe in a little bit okay. Which it, it isn't, but is first of all, if they've been in an ex, a rape situation and they are underage, um, that would definitely be, you know, because this is like a, a traumatic thing that has happened and. That's understandable, you know, you're, you know, too young, and on top of it, your, your family, they're against, you know, you having kids, especially if you're underage, and maybe also they don't know that their child has been raped, and in that type of situation, and they haven't, or for whatever reason, can't seem to bring it to their parents that they've been through something like that. So, they don't want to, it to do with, okay, you know, over time, you know, they're going to end up showing that they're pregnant. And then, you know, their parents are going to think, oh my gosh, my child's a whore, and blah, 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 and all these things. And, and even then, they'd really, you know, not anything to a child, and it would be a very hard life for the child, so... Yeah, there's a lot of factors that, that go into it, but yeah, the, the, the rape situation, um, the fact that the family doesn't want their 
a daughter to have a child. And the parents, in many cases, there are parents that pressure their underage children that that actually voluntarily do have sex. They pressure them to get abortions. Like, the parents are just like, oh, heck no, we're not, you know, you're going to deal with it. Like, instead of, like, th- they won't let their kids go all the way through the whole pregnancy process and giving birth, even just to give the child a chance to, um, you know, be adopted by someone else, no less. But they actually, you know, pretty much force their kids to get abortions because they're the parents are prideful, worried about their image, and they're just, you know, not going to have it. They, they don't, they're very heartless. So that's another thing that happens. And it's very traumatic for the, you know, the, the daughter that's carrying the child. So that's another thing that happens a lot with, um, with people. It's not everybody's, you know, just whoring around and then turning around and being like oh no bump this I I can't do I, I'm not gonna have a child and they just bump it off like that's very actually rare because when you've had a child growing in you and you know I mean you you, you realize it's life you know you're not nobody unless they're a freaking psychopathic killer is gonna be like you know, running around, kill all the babies, and all this bull crap. Like, nobody, nobody does that. That's not even realistic. That's, that's if you're pretty much basically psychotic. Like, no normal, rational, freaking human is gonna think like that. Like, even in the cases where they feel absolutely forced to, you know, there is no other way than to have abortion, unfortunately. And, like, a lot of times, people aren't educated on all the options either of other things that can be done that they can make it through the whole term and have the baby and, you know, there's a whole crap ton of other options, you know, they can be given up for adoption, you know, there's there's so much that can be done, you know, and there's also ways that, you know, if the mother does still care for the child, you know, work out with the family, you know, they can still see them, you know, there's a lot of things that can still happen, you know, the parents don't have to be, you know, if they're, you know, of age, you know, you know, parents don't have to, you know, be involved, it's like, if they want to go see their child, and it's, you know, with another family, then that's, that's fine, you know, I mean, shoot, you know, but, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of scenarios that there's, everybody is not, like, freaking cold-blooded, you know, <laughs> like, is there a your mindset, like, that's just straight up psychotic people, and unfortunately, there's, what appears to be the psychotic, more psychotic people in government, especially the one that decided that this was, the ones that decided that this law was okay. I don't know why the heck they got away with it, but hopefully it'll quickly get shut down. But yeah, there was another perspective that came up and it left because I was still talking about another one. Um, and I still haven't really drawn. I apologize, <laughs> but, um, let's see, okay, I have to figure out, what do we see going on here, like, first of all, for me, this looks like somebody's shoulder, <laughs> this looks like part of, like, a boob or something, or maybe, actually, it's like a face, oh, I see a face, okay, this is all, like, crazy here, hold on, okay, but yeah, just, just to give you some different, like, perspectives, com- more compassionate you know, on people's situations, you know, realistic perspectives that, you know, those who choose it aren't, you know, willingly, like, you know, hate babies and, you know, they want them dead and all this stuff. Like, that's just, that's straight up if you're psychotic type of thinking. Like, it, that's not a realistic, okay, I'm going to make this like a hybrid animal human thing. I can't, I forgot the term, and there's a, there's a term for part, uh, you know, animal or creature, part human-like thing, and I used to know it, and it's been a while, so I don't remember exactly, but, yeah. But anyway, but yeah, so, I mean, 
people are in some really crapped up situations these days, like, even, like, in their families, and, like, it's even harder for the, the one that has gotten pregnant that, like, if they don't believe the, the way that the parents do, and they don't believe in killing, you know, the babies and stuff like that, and their parents are literally, like, on a whole other level, and, like, don't want anything to do with it, like, it's very hard on the on the mothers like I mean it really tears them up if they have to go through with it and that is a trauma that stays with them for like ever I mean my god you know and you know unfortunately you know a lot of people don't get to get help or talk to anybody about it and it's just so such an awful thing that some people have to deal with um, you know, I just, I, it really sucks, I feel really bad for them. Now, as far as, like, my situation, um, when I got pregnant with my now 11-month-old, um, I never saw myself having kids, I never wanted to have kids, um, you know, I, this ought to be another video on what my sexuality is, because this, in this scenario, I happen to be like, okay, I'm going to try a relationship with a man, because it's what everybody pretty much freaking expects of me, you know, the scenarios that I was in with unrecorded love, and, you know, the women that I loved that didn't pan out, so I was just like, okay, fine, you know, I'm tired of hurting, okay, let's see how this goes, since everybody acts like it's so freaking great, so it turns out the guy that I end up with is a freaking sociopath, so it was very toxic, abusive relationship, but anyway, so he really, really wanted a son to carry on his last name, and he had a son, he has a son in a, a previous relationship, and I am not with this man anymore, I escaped with my 11 month old son, by the way, so, yay! Um, okay, so, anyway, so he wanted her son really, really bad, to carry on his name and make up for the fact that he never got to grow up with his first son and go through all the, you know, stages and changes. He wasn't even there in the, you know, well, he was being birthed and all that, so he missed out, so he wanted another chance. Well, he knew that I was, you know, not for having kids in life or whatever, but I mean, you know, over time, he was slowly, like, and then more and more so, you know, guilt-tripping me on it and, you know, having me feel sorry for him, and, you know, just constantly, you know, and then one day I found out, and this was actually while I was pregnant later, and by the time, I mean, I already knew I was pregnant, obviously I had symptoms that I suspected, and of course I had to test, and it confirmed it, but anyway, so one day he, he tells me that, oh, well, he had been actually praying on it for me, that I had a, have a kid, and like, without my permission, like, you know, we didn't even discuss you know, that we're actually going to freaking, you know, have a kid or whatnot. And yes, I know, I voluntarily, you know, had my legs open, but I knew that. I mean, I was already mad at myself for that, on top of the fact that, you know, I ended up pregnant because, you know, actually this was a straight-up miracle. Obviously, he was meant, my son was meant to be here because of all the times that I could have been pregnant with this dude and never did. I thought, okay, well, I'm infertile. But anyway, so apparently this one time that things actually caught, and I find out later, he was praying, you know, he said praying to God, but I'm just kind of like, well, what the heck was he really praying to, but, so I ended up, he was praying that I would get pregnant, and I have the experience of having a child, and I'm like, I felt like spiritually violated, you know, it, to me, like, it felt like, okay, so you pretty much, like, have me spiritually freaking raped because I was like I did not volunteer for this crap you know I've never I was never supposed to get pregnant in this life and you know all these things like I never even wanted to have the experience of being pregnant and going through all that like I was 
that was something I was really afraid of, like, you know, my life, you know, that, and the birth process especially, and I was just like, no. Anyway, so it ended up happening, and, like, for the longest time, I was very, very angry about it. I was like, it, it, this is bad, it, but, and, you know, of course, I definitely don't feel that way anymore, and I'm, I'm glad for my son, uh, but oh, there was many times where I was just hoping, well, maybe, you know, he won't make it through, you know, the whole pregnancy, you know, maybe, you know, something, because, I mean, I was very stressed at the time, too, and I was thinking, crap, you know, as stressful as an abusive as this relationship is, and, you know, I don't know if this child's going to make it, you know, I mean, it's highly intense situations, and I was just like, I don't know what's going to happen, you know, uh, so, um, it sounds bad, but it's like, sometimes, you know, place where, like, when you're in a situation like that, and you're like, you know, you're hoping, well, maybe, you know, the kid will just die or something, you know, so, in a way, it is, uh, like, a abortion mindset, because, it's, you know, when you didn't want kids, and then all of a sudden, you know, huh, surprise, it's a kid, and then you're like, shit, you know, and then you're kind of like, well, now I gotta save face to everybody, because, like, this is something I didn't want, and now it's happening, and then, you know, and then, uh, what the heck are you gonna say to your family, you know, I mean, mom was fine, but dad was really like, what the heck, but I mean, heck, I was, I was, 29 gonna turn 30 so I was definitely way old enough to have a child but with this dude oh my god anyway so yeah I can understand that type of mindset like if you don't but I still decided that you know life is more precious than any extreme difference in my life that's gonna come and because I learned such a strong value of life, thank God my mother raised me that way. Um, so I said, I'm not going to kill this baby. I'm going to carry him, you know, full term and just pray to God that he is healthy, completely healthy in all forms, that we're both completely healthy, that neither one of us kill over, you know. And it turns out he came out, he was perfectly healthy and everything. And I said, you know, if, you know, we gotta raise him, I'll, I want to raise him the way that I never got to be raised, the most best way possible for him, you know, um, I don't know what this is, maybe eventually it'll become clear to me, but, yeah, y'all say it's some type of freaking creature, but anyway, maybe y'all can say in the comments if y'all figure it out, like, I'm just, just kind of, like, random today. Because I'm in my thoughts, so it's like a really random doodle thing scenario. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just kind of out of my element right now. I'm just... Whatever's coming out is coming out, and hopefully it's helpful. This is like authentic shit. I mean, really. I mean, it is difficult to talk about these things. It's like, you know, you judge yourself more than anything for anybody else does. Like, oh my gosh, you're a horrible person. You have these thoughts. And I'm like, yeah, but... If you really think about it, I'm not the only one. There's a crap ton of people that have thought this way, and those that are want to be in denial about it and prideful, well, that's on you, you know, or whatever. Do as you will, but whatever you do has its own outcomes, or what people want to call either karma or reaping what is owed, whatever. Anything you put out there, it it shows up back to you. It doesn't matter what you know, good or bad. The, responses will follow in equal measure, sometimes more amplified, but anyway, so, yeah, I grew to love my son, definitely, I mean, obviously, I mean, I, I got him and me out of that abusive situation, you know, way on the other side of the country, I mean, <laughs> freaking escaped, got back home with family and everything, because I was, uh, we were away from everybody. So, definitely, definitely blessed that I do have my son and that he definitely, uh, from what I've seen, he has been carrying all my awesome 
likes <laughs> in life, so that's pretty cool. Same type of interest, in musicalness and creativity, and there's a lot of different stuff. Like, I mean, I can't even name it. Like, I, it's hard to describe. Like, unless you know and you like you observe and stuff. Like, that's pretty awesome. I guess there's wind blowing around. That's why this random bunch of hair is like. <laughs> But yeah, so it's some kind of dog. I think what it is is probably there's an ear in there because that's what that looks like. But it's just I don't know. <laughs> it's just something random going on here, you know. And there's another ear somewhere, you know. <laughs> but yeah, so I mean, just have compassion on, you know. I mean, you don't definitely don't have to agree with what they've chosen to do but no less maybe get a different perspective and understanding have compassion on them why people do the things that they do you know don't you don't have to do it for yourself but just have an understanding and compassion so you're not judging and hating people and having a separation mindset because all of humanity they're all our brothers and sisters you know, we still have to love and respect everybody, no matter how they're being. We don't have to live with them. We don't have to do the things that they do. But, you know, we do have to value that they are still a part of life. They are an aspect of life. You know, they exist as we exist. They're still connected to us in some way or form. And their existence has a purpose, always, whether it's helping us grow as well, you know, and like I said, in order to be more compassionate and understanding people, getting to grow more in unconditional love, that's what really matters. I'm just saying, if you disagree with people, that's fine, because I mean, like I said, I do not agree with abortion. <laughs> And I feel like it's it's murdering, and we don't have, that's not in our hands to do. We shouldn't. You know, that's, that should never be something up to us, and it isn't, but people do it, unfortunately. But, just like I said, have, find some way to see a perspective that will give you compassion and non-judgment for those that are different or come from making different choices and different ways of life. Just awaken to knowing that, that you know, there's, a, there's, you know, and ignorance also plays a factor. I mean, you know, you can't blame somebody for what they don't know either, you know. It happens. You know, just love everybody. That's the whole point. Understand, try to understand, and just love. But remember always to live your life with a way that's authentic to you. Live freely and fully your own way. be who or however you are and choose to be and allow everyone to do the same eventually everyone will come to a higher perspective and grow out of things sometimes it takes different lifetimes but understand everyone is growing forward there's no such thing as growing backwards Okay, I think this is done. <laughs> but yeah, here's the picture. It's like a... It's like a dog lady. Pretty much. You know, I don't know, like... Sometimes it doesn't really occur till later what is happening or what the emotion is or meaning. But maybe some of y'all can see. And y'all can definitely put it in the comments and... You know, what you think is going on here, whether it's capturing emotion or something. I don't 
or if I did my usually when I do stuff if I do the middle initial or not. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, but anyway. I hope y'all got something from this. I, to me I feel like I've just been rambling and just like whatever, but I'm sure there's nuggets of goodness in there. I mean it wouldn't be going on if there wasn't something to it. Yeah. But um yeah. So I love you all and I hope y'all are having a good day and continue having a good day. Feel free to put comments below, like and subscribe to see more videos from me. I try to do one every week. <coughs> um Yeah, I know this you know if you put a comment I'll do my best to respond. <coughs> Alrighty. Catch y'all later. Bye.